Special thanks to Nick G, aka Demon Teddy, on Twitter for suggesting this video to me and Undoomed. And I see that Undoomed has already made a response to this already. Fuck! Okay, I'm not trying to copy Undoomed, I swear. I mean, it'd be nice if I was Undoomed. I mean, that chiseled chin, those blank, non-existent eyes, and... Oh, 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 oh. Wait, I'm, uh, I'm getting off track here. However, seeing as though I have nothing else to do and this is my channel and I can do whatever the fuck I will please, I will respond to this person because... Apparently my opinion on this matters for some reason. No one is telling you that you can't cosplay a person of color as a white person. They're telling you that you shouldn't. Okay, well, screw them then. I can cosplay anything I want, and if they have a problem with it, well, I really don't give a fuck. This is a broad conversation that has stemmed from a specific one that has been taking place on the GeekyCon 2018 Facebook group since yesterday. Someone asked if it's okay for white people to cosplay as Hamilton characters, and they were asking if not, why, wanting to hear from all voices, including people of color. Well, I'm a person, and my color is, let me check real quick, uh, yeah, white, so I should be able to have a say in this, right? Well, if you want my opinion, then yes, it's okay for them to cosplay as Hamilton characters if they really want to. Don't think anyone else cares, right? Now this question was met with a ton of white people on the defense saying that you can cosplay as anything if you love the character as long as you don't do black or brown face. Hey, that's what I was thinking. Exactly. You can, I mean, it's not like anyone's cosplaying like, like this. So, I mean, yeah, as long as it's not blatantly racist, but no one's really doing that. I mean, if you like the character, cosplay as them, color and all. Because, you know, the whole point of cosplaying is to embody that character and to show off the look and appreciation for that character. And a lot of these white people in this discussion were speaking over the voices of people of color whenever a person of color tried to come in and say that they didn't agree, that they found this to be racist or problematic. They just kept explaining themselves and why they thought it was okay. Yeah, how dare you white people try to argue for a side that you think is right? How dare dare you not let the people of color dominate the conversation like you know they should. Now some people of color in that conversation also thought that it was okay for white people to cosplay as Hamilton characters, but several of them were clearly stating that they were uncomfortable with it at best. Okay, so those people of color who sided with the white people, they're wrong then, right? I, I, I take it they're wrong. I mean, I mean, they seem to not have a problem with it, and some did. So yeah, I'm not, not, not seeing what the big issue here, because people do that over everything. Mainly they were saying that it's harmful for white people to cosplay as non-white characters due to representation issues. Okay, how exactly is that harmful though? Like, representation issues? If they want to be characters specifically from a Broadway play, who cares? If they like the characters a lot and want to dress as them, and act like them, then I'm sure they'll represent them just fine. Now I'm going to break this down a bit further to explain to you why it's not okay to one, speak over marginalized voices, and two, to choose to cosplay as a person of color when you're a white person and there are just so many white characters you can cosplay as. <laughs> okay, okay, couple things. One, way to be condescending about this topic already, not even two minutes into the video. Two, marginalized group? Like, are you are you talking about the people of color? Or the people who were against people cosplaying the Hamilton characters? Or are you just making them one and the same? Like, I'm confused on that. Three, these are just your dumb opinions, not facts. So please, kindly, stop acting like these are facts, because they are not. Now I know I'm white, and this could be taken as me just being another white girl talking over marginalized voices. However, I'm being an ally in this conversation because the other white people in this conversation will not listen to those marginalized voices saying that what they're doing is wrong. Yeah, but you're white, so that makes your voice automatically wrong. Because you're not a person of color. And yes, I am going to keep putting quotations around that because I think it's stupid that you keep saying that and using that term instead of calling them black people. As if we don't know who you're talking about. You're talking about black people. So those of us who are actually listening to marginalized voices just have to keep talking. So that's what I'm doing. Yeah, but a little advice to you. Don't talk too much because you might talk over those marginalized groups who apparently have no voice. That or their voices are so tiny you can't really hear them. Point being that this group you keep referring to, which, again, I don't know if you're just talking about black people in general, or you're talking about just the people who were against the Hamilton cosplayers, they just need to get over it. Because it's not hurting anybody. 
Who is being harmed by this? And I've spoken to several people of color about this very topic, and I'm here to spread their messages. You cracker, you can't speak for colored people, you fucking racist. Specifically to the GeekyCon 2018 group of people, if you find that community and that group a safe space, that is great. However, for it to be a true safe space, we need to remember all of the identities of everyone involved. Oh jeez, the safe spaces, oh my god. The fact that you're saying that word, safe space, unironically, makes me have to label you as an automatic dimwit. And I think I speak for everybody when I say that. I would encourage you to look at the Harry Potter Alliance's positive fandom guidelines to give you a good understanding of how to create a safe space, and I will leave that down in the link below. When a person of color doesn't feel comfortable when you're doing something they consider racist, you're not creating a safe space. Oh no, this colored person has a grievance with what I'm doing. I better stop everything and listen to them because their skin color is different. They're automatically right because their skin is different. You know what fucking racist you're sounding right now, lady? And you shouldn't feel attacked if you're told that your viewpoint is problematic. This is something that I've learned to do and you should learn to do as well because it makes a safe space for everybody. You should listen to those calmly telling you why your opinion or your statement is problematic and you should take that in and readjust your thoughts or your feelings or your opinions on this matter based on the voices that you're not listening to and that you're taught not to listen to. Okay, well, I'm not taught not to listen to them. Like, I don't know where that came from. And secondly, my opinions as well as everyone else's are subjective. And there is room for criticism, for disagreement, and for other people's opinions. Sure, fine, whatever. A lot of us know this. We need to change our behaviors when they're upsetting to other human beings and people in our community. What's this we shit? Like, all white people or everybody in general as a whole? Because either way, that's a ridiculous statement. It's really quite simple when you break it down and you stop yourself from being affronted immediately. If we can all listen to each other and have polite discourse when something is offensive, that's how we create safe fan spaces. Well, some of us, like myself, intentionally do not act polite over the internet when it comes to discussions like this. Because I like taking people out of their safe spaces, and for entertainment, because you need to be out of your comfort zone when it comes to this shit. Like, I probably would be different if I was in person with them right now. Like, on one-on-one, -on -one, face to face, then honestly, I probably would be more polite and serious, but I would still be trying to take them out of their comfort zone because they can't have this tiny bubble where they can just retreat to every time they disagree or have any sort of discourse with somebody because that's foolish. This makes everyone better. This makes our community better. Well, I disagree with that and say that weakens a community. It weakens it and makes it childish and not to be taken seriously. We have to listen to marginalized voices because traditionally, we haven't. And it just makes these spaces worse for them. What the hell are you talking about? Just look around! Look how more progressive we've gotten! I mean, sure, it's taken more time than needed, I'll give you that. But do you think we've gotten this far just by sticking our fingers in our ears? That's fucking retarded! And worse for all of us in the end if we're not including everyone. Now back to cosplay for a minute. I've never personally cosplayed, but I think it's awesome and I love to see the amazing creations that people come up with. There are a million characters that I could choose to cosplay, but I know to never choose a Hamilton character because it's not for me. I can love Hamilton, I can sing along to the soundtrack in my car, and I can talk about how amazing it is. But I cannot dress up as Angelica Schuyler, even if I wanted to. Okay, and who's stopping you? No one, that's who, no one. You're just stopping yourself. Like, go ahead and do it, please. If you really want to, then go ahead. Feel free, who cares, who gives a fuck? Because it's not respectful. That musical was made to lift up voices of people of color, and not my voice. Like, like, seriously. Like, seriously, if anything, you're the fucking racist right now. Like, seriously, like, no joke, dead serious, you're being fucking racist right now. Because you're segregating people's skin colors. Whites go this way, blacks go this way, any other colors go another way. I mean, I can't be the only one who's seeing this right now, I can't. Also, would you be saying this to a black person who wants to cosplay as a white character? Oh, no, 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 of course you wouldn't. Because they're black and it's okay. And if you were say, if you were, like, like let, 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 let's flip your speech real quick and replace white with black. And you're, you're saying, oh, well, there's so many black characters you can cosplay as. Go and cosplay as black characters because you're black. You'd be seeming like a total fucking racist. I mean, you are right now. But, I mean, that would be more blatant. But, apparently, oh, 
because I'm talking shit to white people. No, 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 no. It's not racist at all. Not racist. There are just so many white characters you can cosplay as. We're not racist. But it's okay if a black person were to do it though, right? If they were to paint themselves up white, you know, that'd be cool. That'd be okay. I mean, personally, I think it's okay too. I don't care. I, I would think it's okay. But I mean, would it be okay if a black person did it? According to you, their skin color determines if they're right or not, right? Huh. Well, you know what we say about that. That's racist! Which hasn't been historically stomped upon. And if you don't understand this now, I would be happy to have further discussion down in the comments. If you take issue with anything that I'm saying, I will continue to be an ally and I will continue to fight for marginalized voices and let's have a discourse about it. I invite you to do that. If you like this video, please click like and subscribe to my channel. I have a lot of discussions about fandom topics like this, so if you want to see more of that, please go ahead and like and subscribe. Thank you. Bye. No. Anyway, I think I've I think I've said everything that needs to be said on this video. She's she's stupid. This entire topic was stupid. It's just it's just fucking stupid. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys want to watch Undoom's video on this, then I'll link it in the description below. Also, if any of you want to send me any video suggestions or pretty much anything, feel free to send me them on my Facebook and Twitter. I would highly, highly appreciate it. And go ahead and do that shit. Anyway, thanks for watching this video. Now, fuck off.